So hi guys, I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, you've been using your skill set and dissecting poetry, hopefully. And I thought I would just take a second and check in with you. We're week six. Uh, we're getting ready to take our poetry exam that's coming up. I'm going to alter the timeline just a little bit to give a few more people time to catch up before I close things down and start fiction. Um, so you'll have a few days to breathe. But I wanted to talk for a second about um, the poem Facing It. And I'm just going to start reading it. You should have the poem in front of you. You're getting ready to do this dissection and show me what you know on your own instead of using the discussion boards. And I thought I would walk you through the first couple of lines and show you how I would dissect it. So the first line says, my black face fades. So, of course, we have face, fades, and black. That's assonance, A-A-A. We have alliteration, F and F. Um, and then we have, of course, our first clue, and that is black. So this is imagery for sure. Um, but face, fades is connotation. And then we say uh, enjambment because the sentence continues to the second line. My black face fades hiding inside the black granite. So I see black and black, and any time that repetition happens, I know it must be something important. I will probably highlight or circle the word black. Face fades, that could be symbolic. Black granite probably is denotative. Definitely imagery, a clue. I said I wouldn't, damn it. No tears. Again, we have enjambment, now we have dialogue. Um, and we have our next clue, granite, black, dialogue, black, symbolism, black symbolism, face fades, symbolism, I am stone, I am flesh, juxtaposed images there because stone and flesh is hot and cold, but now I know we've got an allusion to something else. We definitely have persona because granite can't talk. Okay. My clouded reflection eyes me like a bird of prey, the profile of night slanted against morning. You're going to do the exact same thing for the rest of the poem. You're going to go line by line and find all of your material. So in this one, two, three, four first lines, I have assonance, alliteration, enjambment, consonants, denotation, persona, dialogue, repetition, and consonants. That's nine terms that I just identified in the first four lines. That's what you're doing. Talk to you soon.